Pancinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Dine, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Poncinello's. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Punchuniello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Punchuniello, you will need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No, no minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there on the clanking deck. Rico Muerte had come to town to do more than just sort out family troubles. Exhibits number one, two, and three. Briefcase of money, a sniper rifle, and an envelope with one word neatly printed on a folded piece of expensive paper. Mayor. It didn't sound like a mafia contract at all. It was too cold and too to the point. Rust had crept over the sides of the cargo steamer a long time ago. Boris Dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get near the gangplank. The guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. Time, Angelo Puccinello here. <laughs> Angie, tell me, how much did Dime cost you? I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You son of a... Pissing Puccinello off was a dangerous game, but when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet, preferably into a grave. Did you get everything you need? Check. I owe you. Anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem his problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But any time you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big-time gangster act, don't you? Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies. But that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up. But there was no crime in hoping. Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs>